Hello Zen Artists, welcome back to another video. Um, as always, I'm the artist Theodora Gasolionti, painting with Zen Art Supplies, and uh, welcome to my studio. Today, as promised, I'll be showing you how to paint this cool Dian fence. Uh, it mostly breeds in Australia and it has these lovely colors. And uh, let's start. So as always, we start by laying the colors that we are going to use on our palette. My bird has so many colors, so I am uh, adding red, gray, yellow, blue, purple, green, and I'm starting by adding a thin layer of color at its pick and under it and generally I'm starting by laying uh, down a few of the colors that I'm going to use at its feathers just uh, letting them blend in together naturally and I'm adding uh, some color at its wings and at its tail using my number two brush from the miniature set from Zanat If you want to make your colors a bit uh, darker, just add another layer. Or if you want to make them lighter, add some water. With uh, linear motions, I'm just uh, adding uh, details to its feathers and I'm every now and then I'm skipping a little bit. Just to give the impression that uh, the light catches the feathers, so that's why they're, they're lighter. And again with my number two ringer brush, I'm adding uh, details all over its feathers in linear motions. And now I'm adding some uh, white ink uh, for more uh, details and highlights. Add its tail, under its head. And with some darker color, I'm adding uh, some layers where its feathers are the darkest. And under its tail, uh, it's the darkest part of the bird, so I'm using um, a light beige. And now moving at its feet, adding some brown color. So now basically I'm just revisiting some areas and adding more and more details to uh, make uh, the feathers a bit darker where it needs to be. And now I'm separating uh, some of its wings using a darker color. And don't forget again to work in uh, linear motions. And always have a paper towel next to you to wash your brushes or to use them in case you make a mistake and I drop some more water or pigment. And 
And now I'm just using another layer of what it's fit. And I'm adding some white details for more highlights. And now I am moving on to the log where the bird is sitting on. And I'm mixing some uh, reddish brown, yellow. And that is the end result. So that's the watercolor painting that we made today. I hope you have enjoyed watching. For next week's video, we have a more summery theme arranged for you sea creatures so don't miss that out and as always don't forget to share like and subscribe and comment if you like see you at the next video bye